Well, hello there, everybody! Today, we're going to be learning! That's right, everybody loves learning channels on YouTube, so I figured, why not learn some stuff with Family Friendly Noful? That's right, today we're going to be learning some quality anime terms! Oh boy, don't you worry! That's right, we're going to join the degenerate crowd of people on YouTube that abuse these children for money by doing pointless and dumb videos. Wait, did I say that out loud? Well, anyway, hey, today's video is going to be using tons of anime vocabulary that people use daily, that people should know. So don't you worry. Let's just get started right into it so you can follow along and say the words with us. Let's start with something that's near and dear to my heart every day. Opai. Oh boy, do I love Opai. Opai is the greatest thing around. Can you say it? Opai? That's right, the pronunciation. Opai. Did you figure out what those bouncy jiggly Opai physics are yet? Well, that means boobies. Big old boober honker titty knockers. Want to stick your face in those motorboat opai? Aren't you glad you learned what that is? Let's move on to what the next term is. Waifu. Everybody loves waifus. Do you have a waifu? I have a waifu. Waifu. <laughs> yeah. Say it with me now. Waifu. Do you feel more accomplished with your life? You shouldn't. Waifu. That's right, if you don't know what an anime waifu is, it basically means wife. It sounds like it is, except 2D. And a lot more crippling depression to go along with it. Next up is a term that a lot of ladies love in anime, and that is... Yaoi. Oh, it was very prominent with the anime Yuri on Ice came out, even though it's got a different term in it. Can you say it with me? Yaoi! Yaoi! Make sure to grab your father and say, Boy, I love Yaoi! Make him say it too. Yaoi! Such a fun thing to say, isn't it? Sounds like you're screaming. Screaming on the inside. Yaoi! What it means is when two boys love each other very, very much in a way that they're having sexual intercourse. That kind of love. Isn't it lovely? Not if you're straight. And that brings us to our next lovely term. Yuri. Yes, that's right, Yuri. The exact opposite of what you were expecting from Yuri on Ice. Yeah, it completely deceived us, Yuri. Wow, those two girls sure love their Yuri. Boy, are they going at it. That Yuri is amazing. Have you figured out what Yuri is yet? Oh, it's when two ladies love each other very, very much. And they have these things called arts and craft time where they have their scissors and they just go at it. Like this. That's right. Scissoring. That's cutting paper and things like that. Nothing else family friendly. Ah yes, the next term is something that a lot of people get traumatized about, but some people just love trolling people with. Futanari! Yay! It can even be shortened to Futa. Ah, oh, do you like Futa? Hmm. The Futa sounds good. It's so fun to say. Say Futa with me. Futa! Futa, grab your parents! Futa! Do you want to say Futa with them? Have them say Futa too. It's great to say, isn't it? It sounds like foot. Except it's completely far from. I'm sure you're curious what Futa means now, my friends. It means that lady over there has herself a wee-wee. That's right, she's got a Futa. Oh, look at you. You're a big Futa. Oh boy, we're going on a roll right now. Let's move on to the next term. Another one that leaves people just vomiting and upset. Guru. Everybody loves their Guru. That's right. Wonderful things that you always want to see when you're doing your happy time together. Guru. Yeah, that's right. Do you want to know what that is? 
No, you actually probably don't want to know what that is. We're just going to move on from that term. We don't want to cover that one. Ah, yes! This term is one that we have to talk about with our parents multiple times because sometimes they don't know what it is. Hentai. Oh! Wonderful childhood memories of looking up that hentai. Mmm, boy. When those girls are looking at those boys peeking under their skirts, they're saying hentai. Sometimes I like to go home and look at hentai all day. Are you curious in what hentai is, ladies and gentlemen? Well, it's all those nasty things you see those 2D waifus doing online. That's, that's what that is. Wonderful, wonderful world of hentai. It also is the stuff that gets noble age restricted, so let's not put that up on the screen. We don't want none of that. Today is a learning experience. That's right, learning. We're all learning here, right, boys? Learning so much quality information. Oh, here's a term that some of you guys may look up with that previous one there. Ooh, can you say it with me? Bukake. Oh, it's such a fun thing to say. Don't you want to run around screaming, Bukake? Bukake to the entire neighborhood. Hey, do you like Bukake? Oh, you're eating that yogurt over there. It looks like Bukake, doesn't it then? You're scrumping all of that down. Bukake. Well, if you're curious of what that silly word Bukake means, it's men squeezing their yogurt out on top of the other opposite sex or sometimes the road. Bukake. That's, that's what it is there. Yes. Man cream. We'll roll with that. Oh, this is what we're seeing on the rise recently here. It's such a silly little thing. Ahigao. Isn't it an interesting thing to say to Ahigao? Oh man, I was eating that ice cream and all of a sudden my face went into Ahigao. Oh, I gave that fan a good old booty slap and s somehow his face went Ahigao. How is it even possible those anime characters speak so clearly when they're ahigawing? Yes, I just snorted. I don't usually do that, but I guess I snorted there. I'm, I'm very sorry, ahigaw. If you want to know what that term means, it's that one face that you see those anime characters always making, and it, it, it just means that they're very silly at that moment. Yeah, yes, very, very silly. They're all silly people. Oh, of course, the next term, something that we all go looking for sometime on the internet if we become a, an anime fan, if you will. Those doujinshi. Yes, do you know what doujin are? You all know what those lovely doujinshi are. Oh, I boy, I love to read doujinshi. I love to spend long nights just looking and looking and reading all those wonderful doujinshi. Why, yes. Usually that just means a fan-created comic. That's right, just a fan-created comic that you can read. It usually doesn't have anything sort of inappropriate whatsoever in it. No! You won't find any of the other previous terms associated with the doujinshi at all. No, never. Ah, uh, yes, the next term, which leaves a lot of people very sad and questioning their choices in life. Netorare. Can you say it with me, netorare? Mm, or NTR, that usually people like to say it. Ah, yes. Some NTR. Mm, that made my old chin chin go very, very limp. Desu, if you're wondering to know what it means, it usually means you have messed up taste in your happy time. You sick, disgusting fuck. <laughs> Ah, yes, the final term here, the most family-friendly of all. Lolly card, or just lollies. Yes, that's right, can you say lollies? Oh, look at all these wonderful lollies. Oh, boy, I sure hope nobody says that and remixes that in a future video. That's right, go up to your grandmother and say, Hi, I like lollies. And she'll probably give you a candy. But you meant something else, didn't you? Didn't you? The term lolly refers to all those cute moe anime girls that you always see. Also the fact that perhaps that they're not of the right age too sometimes. Ooh, don't get in trouble with the law, you lolly card. 
Anyway, I hope that was an educational adventure, wasn't it, my friends? So educational. Have you learned a bunch of wonderful anime terms? Is your vocabulary higher now? Oh, I'm so glad. Make sure to share this with all your friends so they know as well. Was there a term that I missed? Oh no! Well, make sure to leave it in the comments and perhaps we can cover it next time. If you're lucky. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Maybe leave a like, maybe subscribe for some more educational knowledge. And I hope to see all of you beautiful sons of guns again next time. You crazy mother...